Hey guys, it's Ati here and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to flash custom recovery in your phone. I got many comments and they were saying like, make a tutorial and so here's a video for you guys. The method that I have used in this video is universal and can be used uh, for most of the smartphones available in the market. So you might have seen me flashing some ROMs and also some zip files via the TeamWin recovery project. Uh, so if you haven't seen those then the i buttons will pop up throughout the video so if you find those topics interesting then make sure to check those out as well uh, so the recovery that i'm going to use is the team win recovery project i just said that and the phone that i'm going to use is the oneplus x of course so i already had twrp in my phone so i went back to the oxygen recovery with the oxygen os 3.1.4 uh, and so yes, I will be having that in my phone while I uh, do the flashing stuff and all. So the things you require to flash the team in recovery project in your phone is that first is the ADB setup which I have linked in the description box down below and second is the TWRP image file that also is linked but that is for the OnePlus X only. If you have any other phone then just go to Google and search for uh, latest TWRP for uh, whichever your phone is for example redmi note 4 then latest twrp for redmi note 4 and then just search for it and the one you get just uh, download it in your pc and then keep it ready anyways we have a giveaway going on so if you haven't participated then just go to the first link in the description and make sure you participate it's the giveaway is about two 8000 mh power banks by cloudwalker so if you think you want those then go to the link and just participate uh, if you just like the video and then comment then maybe your chances are boosted two times maybe so i think that's pretty much it with my ugly face i think let's get started with the video first head on to the download section and get yourself the adb driver setup and twrp image file this image file is for the OnePlus X. If you have any other device then make sure you download it. I'm going to flash the Lineage OS with the Super SU zip file also. Super SU gives root access. I have a couple of more ROMs. If you wish to try those out then I have them linked in the description box down below. Let's begin with the process. First you need to download the ADB drivers. Just give the required input which is Y and you're done. This creates a file named ADB in your C drive. Go to the C drive and then in the ADB folder. You can see that 4 files are installed. Now copy the TWRP image here. Now press and hold shift key on your keyboard and right click on your mouse. A list of options open up. Then select open command window. Now let's get to the OnePlus X. Go to the settings then about phone and tap on the build number 7 times. Now you have successfully enabled developer options. Now go to the developer options and enable USB debugging and allow OEM unlock and connect the phone to the PC. Now in the command prompt type ADB devices. ADB devices is used to just show that your device is connected. Now there will be a pop up on your phone. Just tap always allow and then ok. If the command prompt shows something written as unauthorized beside the uh, device ID then just type ADB devices again. So now you can see that once you do it again you can see the device ID has a device written beside it. Then type ADB reboot bootloader. This will take your phone into the fastboot mode. Type fastboot devices just to check if your device is connected properly. 
then type fast boot oem unlock this unlocks your bootloader or this is a command that is used for unlocking the bootloader a pop up will be seen on your screen tap yes this will delete all the data on your phone so just be sure that you have backed up everything before doing this so as my phone had an unlocked bootloader this didn't show so i took this from a channel named as c4e tech from youtube so i'm sorry if the viewers don't like this now your phone will reboot after you tap on yes and after completing the startup steps go back to the developer options and enable usb debugging as my bootloader was already unlocked my data didn't go and the command had no effect connect the phone back to the pc if you have removed it type adb devices you can see your device id now type adb reboot bootloader this will take the phone back to the fast boot mode then type fast boot flash recovery and then first few letters of the twrp file and press tab see that the twrp name is same as the one you copied in the adb folder then press enter now type in fast boot reboot this will reboot your phone Turn off your phone and boot into the recovery mode. This process should actually take you to the TWRP recovery. But that's not the case here. I have a fix for this problem. Just follow the process till the command fast boot flash recovery the first few letters of the TWRP file and flash. Just wait till there. Write this command. Write fast boot boot first few letters of the twrp file and then tab then hit enter just as you hit the enter button your phone goes to the twrp or the recovery mode just tap on never show on boot and swipe to allow modification if you want to back up the previous data you can do that but it takes some space from your storage you can restore the backed up file or the backed up data from the restore option given here now i'm going to flash the lineage os with nano g apps and super su zip file as i told you earlier super su gives root access to our phones if you want it you can of course flash it or if you want to be back on your previous os just hit reboot to system before you flash a new rom just be sure to wipe the data so now let me flash these and i'll see you once this is done If the boot takes some time it is absolutely normal. Now hit reboot and tap do not install the TWRP app. There is no problem if you download it but I don't want any extra unwanted app in my app list. Now the phone will reboot. This is the new boot animation from Lineage. We are finally in Lineage OS. Just to see that we have root access just go to the play store and download root checker. After it has been downloaded, just agree the disclaimer and tap on verify root and then grant. You can see that we have root access on our device. So yes, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did it, then do show support by hitting that like button. If you loved it, then subscribe to my channel. And if you have any queries, then you can freely ask me in the comment section down below or on any of my social media. The links are in the description box. So yes, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.